What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Automator Plus YouTube channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at making a cut at the playhead, cutting up your timeline, cutting up your clips and we're going to be selecting our clips and we're going to be manipulating our clips a little bit. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. We're going to start out in Visual Studio Code and the last tutorial that we did, we created a few different functions to navigate on your timeline or to navigate your timeline, going to the next marker, the next clip, going forward one second, that type of thing. Um, today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to create a new script and we're going to call it manipulate clip and remember to add the extension dot a h k all right and instead of rewriting our header commands we are just going to go and select these copy them and paste them into our new script all right let's start off with something relatively simple what we want to do is we want to create a cut point we want to add an edit to our timeline at the player position and Premiere Pro has a shortcut for this and it is Control Shift and K and that will create an edit point throughout all the clips at the playhead or alternatively if you just press Control K it will add an edit point only to the targeted track. Alright so let's quickly go into that and start writing our function. So we're going to call this function add edit point and we are going to use the parameter add edit and let's open up our Kodi brackets and again we're just going to send an input command so we're going to say send input comma control shift and k because we want to make an edit point on all the tracks let's just press enter and say sleep 10 milliseconds let's quickly test that one out we're going to say when I press numpad 5, I would like you to call the function add edit point. And let's pass an empty string as the parameter. All right, let's quickly test this one out. We're going to open up Premiere Pro. We're inside of Premiere Pro. And now when I press numpad 5, it should add an edit point wherever the playhead is at. So if I press 5, and it makes a cut point. Just press five there, add another cut, add another cut. Great guys, it's working. Let's quickly go on to the next function and the next function we're gonna be adding is just to select the clip at the playhead. So we're gonna call this function select clip at playhead and we're gonna pass the parameter select clip or we're gonna say the parameter is select clip and we're gonna open our curly brackets and again Premiere Pro has a shortcut for this it's called D if you press D it will select the clip at the playhead which is at the targeted track so if you have track number one targeted and you press D then the clip at your playhead on track one will be selected so we're gonna go and say send input D and we're gonna sleep for 10 milliseconds Alrighty, let's quickly test that out. Not that we're going to be assigning this to a specific shortcut, but let's just, for now, let's just assign it to numpad8. And when I say numpad8, I want to call the function select clip at playhead. And I'm gonna pass an empty string as the parameter. And let's quickly test that out. I need to reload this script. I'm gonna open up Premiere Pro. And when I press numpad8 now, it should select the clip at the playhead on track one. And it does. Clip is selected. And that clip is selected. And now this clip is selected as well. So, all right. So, this function by itself is not very useful. But I'm going to show you what we mean when we say we can take these little Lego blocks that we're building now and we can stack them on top of each other. So, for example, I'm going to delete this shortcut. And I'm going to create another function. And I'm just going to call this function move clip up one track 
and I'm just gonna say move clip is the parameter and I'm gonna open up my curly brackets and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call the function select clip at playhead pass an empty string as a variable so again just to explain that again we did it in our first tutorial but when we call this function then everything inside of these curly brackets are gonna run so when we run this function over here it's gonna call this function and run that as well as well as any other functions or commands that we put underneath that. So we're selecting the clip at the playhead and now what we want to do is we want to move that clip up one track and Premiere Pro has a shortcut for this it's the shortcut for nudging the clip up. Let me show you guys quickly if you go into your Premiere you can open up your keyboard shortcuts and that's how you can access all your shortcuts and inside of this you can see nudge clip and you can see there's the nudge clip selection down and nudge clip selection up. So what this does is when I have a clip selected and I press alt up, it moves that clip up to the track just above it. All right. But if I have nothing selected and I press alt up, it moves all the clips on the active track upwards. And if no track is active, it just moves all the clips up. So over here, we're back in Visual Studio Code and now we have this function move clip up one track. Now first, we get a handle on the clip, we select that clip, and then we're gonna go and say send input, alt and up. All right, now, now AutoHotKey knows that when we run this function, it needs to select the clip at the player and move that specific clip up one track. We're gonna do that and we're gonna say sleep 100, all right? Let's quickly test that function out and I'm gonna show you how that works. So numpad eight, when I press numpad aid, please call the function move clip up one track. And I'm gonna pass an empty string as the parameter. Let's test that out, shall we? We're gonna reload our script. I'm gonna open up Premiere Pro. And now when I press numpad aid, it should select the clip at the playhead. I'm just gonna move all of these back down to get them back to the active track. And now when I press numpad aid, it should select the clip at the playhead and move it up. And it does. So if I move my clip plate over there or my playhead over there and I, play, and I press eight, it moves it up. Move that one up and now I can move that one up. So you don't necessarily have to move your clip up. For example, you can select the clip at the playhead and change the scale or change the speed or reverse the clip or add any other effect to that clip. So the select clip function is a very important function to have. By itself, it's not very useful, but combine it with a lot of other functionality that we're going to be showing you later on in our, in our future tutorials, then suddenly it becomes an essential part of every other function. So it's a very important Lego block for you to have. All right, guys, that's it for today. We just did a little bit of coding. Uh, three super easy functions and I just hope that you guys can start to understand how all of these different functions um, slot together and how we can take these little Lego blocks that we're building and how we can eventually build massive macros and automations. The one that we showed you today is very easy, very simple, but eventually we're going to start using math. We're going to start using some algebra in between. I'll show you nothing too difficult, but we're going to start using the computer to do super complex tasks for you and all you will need to do is just press one button, sit back, relax, drink your coffee and enjoy while your computer works for you. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, please smash that like button and subscribe to our channel and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and we will get back to you. Remember, we are releasing two new videos every week. I'll see you guys next time.